तो हाई एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू प्लेसमेंट्स रेडी वी आर बैक अगेन विथ येट अनदर वीडियो ऑन प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द डे सो टूडेज प्रॉब्लम इज चेक इफ ट्रीज आइसोमॉर्फिक सो वी आर गिवन टू बाइनरी ट्रीज वी हैव टू चेक वेदर दे आर आइसोमॉर्फिक और नॉट टू ट्रीज आर कॉल्ड आइसोमॉर्फिक इफ वन कैन बी ऑप्टेंड फ्रॉम अनदर बाई अ सीरीज ऑफ फ्लिप्स डैट इज बाई स्वाइपिंग लेफ्ट नोट एंड राइट चिल्ड्रन ऑफ सेवरल नोट ओके मीन्स वेदर दे कैन बी मेड सिमिलर बाई स्वाइपिंग लेफ्ट नोट विद द राइट नोट एंड वाइस वर्सा एनी नंबर ऑफ नोट्स एट एनी लेवल कैन हैव देयर चिल्ड्रेन स्वैप टू एम टी ट्रीज आर आइसोमॉर्फिक ओके सो एट एनी लेवल एनी नंबर ऑफ नोट्स कैन हैव देयर चिल्ड्रेन स्वैप ओके सो बेसिकली वॉट वी नीड टू कीप इन माइंड इज दैट द चाइल्ड कैन बी स्वैप विथ ईच अदर ओके नॉट द नोट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल द फॉलोइंग ट्रीज आर आइसोमॉर्फिक विद द फॉलोइंग सब ट्रीज सो हेयर एज यू ऑब्जर्व वन is the root node for both the trees two is the left child for this and two is the right child for this so if we swap two with three we will get the desired tree okay so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the problem in more detail so here if you observe one is the root node okay for both the trees its left child is going to be two its right child is going to be two so if we swap them okay so this tree will look like this so one will be the root node two will come here two is four left child is four five eight and seven okay and the right child is going to be three and six okay so now at this level the nodes are been arranged now if you go to the next level so two's left child is four two's right child is five so two's left child is four two's right child is five three's left child is going to be six okay so if we swap Six with the left child, we can get this tree. Okay, so now we are sorted for the third level. Okay, now if you check for the another level, we just need to swap eight with seven. So five will come here, seven and eight. So we can get this tree identical. So at each and every level, we need to check whether we can swap the nodes and we can get the desired tree or not. Now, if we discuss about this case here, if you observe, one's left child is two, here one's left child is three. So let's swap it. So one left child is going to be two, three, and four. Three's left child is going to be four. Okay. Now, for this level, nodes are sorted. Okay. Now for here, two's left child is going to be four, but here we don't have any left or right child for two, so we cannot do any operation. Okay, basically the swap operation. So the output is going to be no. Cool. Now how can we identify whether we can make this tree isomorphic or not? So first of all, there can be a scenario. Let's say this is my tree. So I am taking a simple example in order to make you understand. so basically first of all what we can do we can check whether the root of both the trees are going to be null or not if both of them are going to be null my answer in that case is going to be a yes or true now if any of the root is going to be null my answer is going to be no because we cannot make the other tree look like the first tree right so that is going to be the second condition now the third case is whether the two trees are identical or not if the two trees how can they be identical first of all for them to be identical their nodes data should be similar so here ones one and one is similar so first of all we will check if let's say this is the root one and this is the root two so root one arrow data and root two arrow data is not equal we can simply return a false theek hai agar root ka data hi barabar nahi hoga to hum log to nahi bana sakte na isomorphic theek hai so dono tree aapas mein isomorphic to nahi ho sakta theek hai to ye wala condition ho gaya now let's discuss the recursive case theek hai to agar hame ye sara condition check ho gaya these are basically the base cases to hum log kya kar sakte hain पहला केस ये हो सकता है कि दोनों ट्रीज आइडेंटिकल ही मिल जाए हमें है ना तो उसके लिए तो बेसिकली वी कैन चेक इफ बोथ द ट्रीज लेफ्ट चाइल्ड इज गोइंग टू बी आइसोमॉर्फिक एंड 
अगर दोनों का राइट चाइल्ड भी आइसोमॉर्फिक है ठीक है तो वी कैन से कि आवर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रू राइट बिकॉज दोनों आइडेंटिकल है तो ऑब्वियसली दोनों आपस में आइसोमॉर्फिक होगा बट वॉट इफ लेट्स से हेयर वी हैव अ ट्री लाइक दिस ठीक है कुछ इस टाइप का ट्री अगर है तो हम लोग क्या चेक कर सकते हैं आप कि क्या मेरा रूट वन का लेफ्ट एंड रूट टू का राइट right, है ना दोनों आपस में आइसोमॉर्फिक है कि नहीं एज वेल एज रूट वन का राइट एंड रूट टू का लेफ्ट आइसोमॉर्फिक है कि नहीं तो वी कैन एक्सटेंड दिस कंडीशन और आइसोमॉर्फिक रूट वन का राइट एंड रूट टू का लेफ्ट ठीक है क्योंकि हम लोग स्वैप करके एक दूसरे को वो ट्रीज हम हम लोग आइडेंटिकल बना सकते हैं है ना बेसिकली रूट वन का राइट और रूट टू का लेफ्ट अगर हम लोग स्वैप कर दें अगर वो आइसोमोर आइडेंटिकल बन पा रहा है देन इट इज़ अ आइसोमॉर्फिक ट्री बेसिकली हम लोग ऐसा क्यों कर रहे हैं बेसिकली क्वेश्चन में लिखा है कि हम लोग स्वैप कर सकते हैं एक दूसरे से नोट्स को सो so, अगर हम लोग रूट का राइट और रूट का लेफ्ट स्वैप कर लें है ना और आइडेंटिकल बन जाए ट्री तो हम वी विल बी गेटिंग आवर आंसर राइट सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द कंडीशन एंड द अदर कंडीशन इज गोइंग टू बी रूट वन का लेफ्ट और रूट टू का राइट अगर ये आपस में आइसोमॉर्फिक हो गया मतलब आवर आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी ट्रू सो वी कैन सिंपली रिटर्न आर ट्रू ओके एंड the base cases are handled here so i hope you have understood the problem let's do a dry run on some smaller test cases since the roots of both the trees are not null we can proceed ahead okay now we will go on to this we will go on to this first of all we will check what is going to be checked if both are isomorphic or not so root 1 ka left okay so we will consider this root and we will consider this root okay now if we compare the data this is not isomorphic for now because when we check this condition it will return a false but here we have a or condition right now we will check if this and this are isomorphic or not okay so since the root state are equal we will call the recursion further so two's recursion will be called so recursion will be called on two's left child but now here we don't have any left child okay so what happens here the root 1 is not null and root 2 is null so we will return a false okay so this return a false to the parent okay and now what happens we will now check the second condition basically the right here since the data are not equal we will now again try to check this three with this three okay so here the data is are equal now we can call the recursion okay so now again the four cases will be called so for the left child there is no node okay but here for the left child there is a node okay so it will again return a false okay now when from both the conditions we are getting a false we can return a false okay so the answer for this case is going to be a false now let's discuss the time complexity for this so at max the recursion will be called for the minimum number of nodes in the two trees at one point of time okay so the so the time complexity will be minimum of m comma n where m is the number of nodes in the first tree and is the number of nodes in the second tree so i hope you have understood the problem let's discuss the implementation basically if both of them are going to be null we will be returning a true if any one of them is not a null means there is no possibility to make the trees identical to each other we will be simply returning a false now the third base case is that both the data do not match in that case also there is no possibility to make the trees identical so in that case we are going to return a false now we will call the recursive function now first of all what can be the case the two trees are identical itself okay so in that case we will call the function on both the left child 
okay both the right child for both the trees okay and if both of them return a true i can return a true okay and the second condition is that let's say the trees are swapped at some nodes levels okay so in that case we can check for the root one left and root two right and we can check for the root one right and root two left okay so in that case if we get a true from both of them we can return a true so i hope you have understood the implementation as well if you have any doubts write it down in the comments and if you have understood the problem do give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe the channel so let's meet in another problem of the day video where we will be discussing an interesting problem on problem of the day geeks for geeks thanks for watching